You're a martial arts lover, you're a dancer, you're a trained physical theater actor, and the first Taiwanese person invited by Sundance Labs to be in a feature film as a lead actress. How would you describe yourself using just one word? I would say stubborn. I never give up. And once I make a choice, I want to see it to the end and see how it goes, how far I can go. And uh, even if it's a failure, I can at least tell myself that I tried. And I'm very stubborn in terms of that. And so I can look back and say, OK, I have no regrets. I've tried everything. It's 100%. Wei Lin was born and raised in Taiwan. After attending National Taiwan University and working in Asia for about two years in professional theater productions, she realized she wanted more. So she moved to New York and got her MFA in acting from Columbia University. Ever since Wei Yi left Columbia, she's been nominated and won Best Acting Awards, gained union status, and this year she's been invited by Sundance Directors Lab to be the lead actress of Eggplant one of their developing feature films. Let's start with Sundance. First of all, kudos, congrats Thank on you. just being able to represent your country in such a male-oriented industry. Tell me about it. I know it would take a long time for you to go over how yeah. every single move, how you made it happen. But looking back, how did you think you were able to do it? Um, I think, of course, first is I got very lucky because they don't, um, they don't usually do like auditions or something, you know, from Sundance. But as an actor, you know, all that cliche you have to talk about the training and blah 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 and all that. I think it's just that you cannot give up, although you don't know like what's gonna happen tomorrow or next month or next year or 10 years later it's like you cannot give up and I think that's how I started I, like, I don't know if I have it so I'm gonna try my best to see if I have it and then you get to the point it's like oh okay I think I have it and now I want to see how much do I have it so I think it just like step by step and then you cannot stop I don't know if that answer your question, but how did I make it? Learning how to deal with the unpredictability of the business and not giving up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm still learning, and I'm still a baby, you know. Considering, you know, so many brilliant actors out there who are really working actors, it's like unpredictable <laughs> is like the right word because whew, I didn't know. It's like I'm such a small small little ant in such a huge, huge universe. Speaking of those brilliant actors, I was just on Instagram looking at some pictures <laughs> from Sundance Labs, and I saw you right beside all those actors, all yeah. the big names. How was it? How did it feel? It felt, it, it's like, uh, you know, one of my dreams just came true, and why wow, it, was, it was insane, and it was magical, because they are real, you know? Like Ed Harris, you know, they're like, you can touch him. He's just like, hey, what's up? Robert Redford. Oh, you eat, you eat, what do you eat? <laughs> you shouldn't be eating, you know? <laughs> it's just like, you're real people. So it's just really cool that, you know, I get to sit with them and then just talk and chat and, oh, like they're real human beings and they are living as how we normal people live. And that's really reassuring in the in, uh, best possible way, I think. Were you able to relate to them over career, like over your career and their careers and just regular struggles that you go through or mm -hmm. are they way past that point? They are, of course, way past that point, but I was asking uh, like, you are a working actor now, you have this big TV show, you have those movies, you've been in over 500 movies. How does it feel to be a success, successful actor? And then they'll be like, you know what? I still wake up every day and think, what's next? It's the same. You choose to be an actor and that's your life. You just need to be used, like, get used to it and, and adapt. And, 
just live and find some happiness in that process, in that journey. So that's how I related with them because because I'm, I, we all have very different backgrounds and I'm a female. I think I'm, throughout the entire uh, Sundance lab, their majority still are the males, but I'm like one of the four or five actresses. So like they are males and then they're female, I'm Asian, I'm international, so we have very different backgrounds. So I didn't even start asking questions from that point. But to hear that they have the same doubts or like questions every day, just like what I do, is really reassuring. I think that's just the word. Initially, Wei Yi moved to the U.S. just for training, which turned out to be a lot harder than she expected for many reasons. She was one of only two international students at Columbia's art and theater department, and language was certainly a big barrier for her. After studying a lot while also working to maintain her scholarship and learning how to get comfortable in uncomfortable situations, Wei Yi simply fell in love with New York's culture and art scene and decided to stay. At the beginning, when I came to America, I wasn't thinking about staying here and fulfill my American dreams. It's just I came here for training. But like, I fell in love with the culture, I fell in love with the city, I fell in love with... I was like, oh, oh, okay. I fell in love with the feeling of like, I can be myself. I think it's New York really helps, you know, like you can be yourself, be a real woman, be someone with your own ideas. And then that's why I wanted to stay and then what can I do as an actor, as an artist? It's like, oh wow, so many possibilities. Although it's very competitive, com but compared to, in different society, they have different uh, expectations towards females. So I just don't feel like I fit in that category. I don't want to be. I don't want to become one of those girls to compete in the film industry or or the TV industry, I don't want to lose 20 pounds to start from that point. You know, I want to be myself and just look at my talent. And I think that's more possible here. And you're trying and, you know, you're doing your thing. Yeah. Speaking of training, yes. as you said, that was the main reason you came here. Mm -hmm. How was it? How was your experience studying at Columbia? They train actors in a very classical way. Yes. So how was your experience? It was it was great. It was so intense and so <laughs> it was so hard for me. Hardcore, huh? It was so hard because, you know, I didn't really speak English when I first came here and I didn't understand the culture. I didn't have family. I had like two friends, you know, so everything was just so challenging and I was a little Brad, you know, out of college and like, how, how, how far, you know, how hard this could be, ha, 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 here I come. And then just like, uh, I don't understand nothing. And our first semester was Greek tragedy and I didn't speak English. So it's like, I don't, I didn't know how to walk and I have to learn how to run. And it's easy for the American, <laughs> Americans, at least they know what they're saying, you know, they know the words and I'm like, scribbles, I'm speaking Greek, whatever, I'm just gonna <laughs> be on stage and pretend I know everything. Or in the voice classes, you know, the teacher will speak some vocabulary I've never heard before. I didn't even know what it means, bladder <laughs> or diaphragm. So at the moment, I'm just like, I'm just gonna do whatever you guys are doing and pretend I know things. And then I have to go home and read the books, try to memorize all that things. So it was so much more intense for me as an international um, student than my classmates in school. So now look back, it's just like, I think I was blessed because, because, how, because of the experience, how hard it was. I didn't take anything for granted.